Okay, uh, welcome uh, to Badrahona, uh, uh, the COTN clinic. This is operating room number one. Um, for the anesthesiologist, uh, you'll note that there's no anesthesia machine in here at present. Um, we're expecting two on the way uh, that should uh, we'll place in here. Uh, options will be to have an anesthesia machine um, on this side of the operating room, or you can uh, place an anesthesia machine on this side of the operating room. By the time you arrive, there should be a chain to hold the tank. And you'll see uh, I've set up an exhaust system uh, that should be ported to the outside by the time you arrive. Um, this is uh, your anesthesia cart or station. Uh, uh, by the time you arrive, this should have wheels on it, and you'll be able to move it from uh, either side, one side of the room to the other side uh, so as to uh, facilitate uh, whatever type of surgery you're doing, uh, whatever uh, setup is uh, most appropriate. Um, when you arrive, you'll find a box of circuits and anesthesia masks next to your tank. Um, there's a package that has uh, the necessary regulator as well as the contents of what you would normally place in your anesthesia machine, including suction catheters and uh, stylets, etc. Also, you may want to place uh, these masks on the anesthesia machine. And there's an exhaust port here um, that needs to be plugged into the anesthesia machine. If an anesthesia machine doesn't arrive by the time you're here and you're doing a sedation case, uh, I've supplied a, uh, a flow regulator also in this package uh, that can be placed on the tank and you can run a, a, a mask or an AMBU circuit or a Jackson Reese circuit. Um, and uh, your medications, uh, we have a tackle box for you, um, but uh, the main medications will be in the refrigerator. Please place uh, unused um, or unopened uh, medications in the refrigerator uh, when you're done. Um, as far as monitors in, in this room, we have a Space Labs um, monitor, and um, we think that it may only be a, uh, a fuse problem. Uh, I've pulled the fuses, they looked okay, um, but we need to replace them and see. Otherwise, this is a, a full set of uh, EKG, NIBP, and pulse oximetry. Um, we couldn't find the fuses here, so we're going to send some with the next team. If that fails, we have uh, two uh, GE Scholar 3 monitors. Uh, they have uh, working pulse oximetry and non-invasive blood pressure, uh, EKG does not work on either machine. Um, and we have uh, good working suction machines, and um, as well as we have a uh, pump for uh, uh, running IV solutions uh, at set rates if uh, desired. Okay, thank you, that's good for